Welcome back to the channel, folks. Tonight is the last of our testing of the brand new Rigid 4 Tool Max Output Combo Kit. It's the hammer drill. Um, been testing these out all week. Of course, my favorite tool here, the Octane. And uh, this surprising little beast right here, the new Max Output. Um, we're going to have a, a series of tests. We're going to run three each of the three inch deck screws. Then we've got some five inch timber locks. And then we have something a little bit bigger. But that's not all. We're also going to be doing our auger test. We're going to try some speed bore through some 4x4. Should be a fun night. Let's get to it. First up, I'll use my little friend here. Now these are the Makita Gold Bits. If you're lucky enough to ha still have some of these, they're phenomenal. No trouble there at all. You wouldn't suspect it would have any. 1,200 inch-pounds of torque on this uh, rigid octane drill. Uh, only 800, only 800 on the new max output. It's my fault, guys. I had it in speed one. There you go. Five inch timber lock. No trouble whatsoever. I really have grown rather enamored with these, uh, this new combo kit. Just not enough power. I did have to switch it back to speed one. On that test, the winner clearly goes to the octane. Mind you, this is probably more than you're going to want to take and do with a hammer drill. Uh, these are, there are no pilot holes in this. This is just straight up. Who has more power? This is a fully charged, well, semi-fully charged 6 amp hour battery. Not enough power to do it in speed one. That's why I hate wearing gloves. sense of putting this into speed two since it couldn't do the uh, timber lock and you have it it doesn't have enough oomph which I wouldn't expect it to 
I would not expect it to. Uh, I'm kind of surprised the Octane did it, to be honest with you. Even though I know how powerful it is, I know it can do the job, uh, it's not something I would use the Octane for. And I just have to set up and get the speed boards ready. Big difference. Speed two. It's all the way through. Inch and a quarter. One more.
That's an inch and a half. Now, so that I don't bore everyone, we're going to go same inch and a half bit in the octane. The only thing it got caught up on is the end. So, as promised, we took it through a 4x4. Is the max output as strong as the octane? No. I don't think it was ever meant to be. As a matter of fact, I know it wasn't. That will expect to be about 500 inch pounds lower. Now, this is the same max output with the six amp hour battery and the one and a half inch speed board bit. Go speed two. Can't do it in speed two. Speed one, no trouble. Now the octane with a four amp hour max output battery. It was through, but what you heard was it started to sag at the very end. So, I've had people ask me on Facebook, man, this video's taken so long I had to get a haircut. Um, I had people ask me on Facebook does the do the max output batteries give you the same performance as the octane when it comes to the three amp hour octane battery and the four amp hour max output i there's actually very little difference uh between the two uh you're not and that's surprising given that that uh octane battery is giving you 21700 T30 cells. So the best of the best there. But the max output, you're not really losing anything when you go from the, uh, the, the three amp hour octane battery to the four amp hour max output battery. When you go up to the six, yes, there is a significant power loss uh, with the four amp hour max output battery. It does not keep up with the octane. Kind of surprising, but I think our test showed, especially that auger test, the max output can do the job. In the auger test, everything's on speed two.